I'm back. I took a little little nap from YouTube, a couple of months. Um, what I've been wanting to do is put a uh, chainsaw carrier on my tractor. You see a lot of those uh, a lot of those chainsaw carriers. You can purchase them. And a lot of people have made them, create, gotten creative. And uh, I thought about doing that, but being lazy, I think I'd rather just purchase one. And because I have the Curtis cab, I kind of have some limitations as to where I can put it and how it, it gets installed. There's two different ones on the market, and one of them seemed a little floppy to me. Didn't really want to go that route. And the other one was uh, probably overbuilt for what I need. So I guess before I go too far, I should give you a bit of an update on the porch. So I did hire a contractor to do some of the work for me, but I did a lot of it myself and it saved me a bunch of money. The contractor came, did the layout, told me where to dig the holes. I did the digging, got them, uh, got them inspected. He came back, helped me pour the concrete. We did the floor together and, uh, and he laid out one of the roof rafters. Um, then he left. I built the walls and uh, I also cut all of the rafters after he made me a pattern I was able to cut all 32 rafters ahead of time so not having to pay the contractor to deal with that sort of a money saver for me easy to cut the rafters once I had the pattern so uh, that worked out pretty good got the roof uh, got the walls up he came back uh, together we did the ridge beam which is a 20 foot 2 by 12 uh, so that was kind of a two-person job so we took care of that together after that he came back on his own and finished off the roof uh, did some of the soffit. I did the underneath. He did the front side of it. He did the ice and water shield, the underlayment, the shingles, tied it all into the house. Um, and that was pretty much it. And then afterwards, I was able to, on my own, do the siding, the windows, uh, not necessarily in that order. <laughs> I did the landing and the stairs. Also did the windows and the siding and uh, had my gutter guy come out, put gutters on. And here you can see, just temporarily, I've got these, um, I've got these tubes just to get the water out and over the wall. Uh, but eventually I need to dig a trench, put a pipe in the ground. I'm gonna connect these two uh, gutters together and have them dump out here. And you know, I'll probably trench it under and, and go out back that way, but uh, that's probably not gonna happen until next year. So the inside is still just raw framing. Uh, we are planning on a wood stove. Um, I've got the wood stove in there, but we're contemplating how we're gonna do the pipe. The estimate that the uh, uh, fireplace company came and gave me an estimate, it was insane uh, amounts of money. And uh, I know, uh, you know, you gotta pay for their expertise and you gotta pay for, you know, those guys have certifications and things. And I'm not saying that it wasn't a fair amount, but it's just not within my budget. So I think I'm gonna probably try to do it myself. Uh, I do have to get it inspected. So, I mean, there's some some comfort in knowing that it'll get checked and they'll tell me if I need to address anything or if I need to, um, you know, change some things or whatever. So I don't know. I, I don't think we're gonna get it done this year. Not that it matters, it's not insulated anyway. So in any case, we're able to use it at least until the weather gets extremely cold. Um, but there's the porch update. So here's what I purchased. It's a uh, ITC saw boss. I'm looking to mount the chainsaw holder to the uh, the upright on the loader, but it's really the only place. I mean, I could put it on the ROPS, but if I do that, it'll be too tall for me to be able to lift it off. So that's really not an option. My concern was because of the Curtis cab, how close it is to the upright on the loader would i be able to buy an off-the-shelf one um, that was going to fit and not interfere with the cab i didn't see much of anything on the internet telling me that uh, this thing had been attached to a bx and it's big it's overkill it's an awful small tractor for uh, worrying about you know chainsaw attachments i went on the internet found their website called them and uh, the owner i think his name is jake he wasn't 100% sure, so he said, uh, send me some pictures. So I texted him some pictures. Um, he took a look at the pictures and said, absolutely, that will fit. So uh, here we are. I'm going to try and install it. But uh, kudos to those guys, Jake especially. I got acorn acorns have fallen. Uh, might need to wear a helmet. <laughs> anyway, Jake was awesome. Uh, customer service, I can't say enough about it. Uh, 
he was all about answering my questions and he was uh, wanting to make sure I got what I needed. So uh, yeah, awesome. So this is how it's gonna go. This is gonna go around here, kind of like that. And then this goes against here, kind of like that. And um, I do need to mount it as far forward as I can so I can have enough clearance from the cab. Um, it's probably going to block that light when I have a chainsaw in it, but I'm not overly concerned about that. So I thought about using some of this double sticky tape to uh, put on here and, uh, and on the back of here, just to kind of keep the metal on metal, keep my paint from getting all scratched up. But uh, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. I think it'll be fine. It might scratch the paint up a little bit, but hey, it's a tractor, not a Pontiac, right? So the installation couldn't be easier. So here's the business end of this thing. And uh, it bolts on, the hook bolts on with four, uh, four bolts. They're uh, recessed inside, so there's no chance to hit the chainsaw. Um, this thing is just a uh, polymer type material, uh, basically some kind of plastic. Um, so your saw is gonna be protected it's not going to come into contact with any metal and uh, you can get different colors I opted to cheap out and just get the black I guess if I really wanted to I could take the piece of plastic out and spray paint it myself and put it back together but uh, I probably won't bother so the four hooks the bottom two hooks go in here the top two clip on the top just like that looks like we're going to clear the tire there's a pin here, holds it all together. It's got this little, uh, this little uh, uh, spring-loaded ball on it to keep it from popping out. And that goes like that, and that's it. Rock solid. The other, the other one that I saw uh, sort of attached up here and it flopped. And, and this thing is not going to do that. I like it. I like it a lot better. Let's see how my saw fits in there. Now I'm sure it's gonna, the saw is gonna block the light, but I just don't want it to bang into it, right? It's not gonna hit, uh, it's not gonna hit the cab, it's not gonna hit the light. It is gonna block the light. You know, I'm not overly concerned. How often do you use your chainsaw in the dark? I've got the tractor up in the air so I can articulate the wheels or the axle uh, as much as it will go. And now it's close, but it doesn't actually hit it. So I think I can live with that. That's good. Um, the, uh, the thing I had to do to get there, though, was I had to make a modification to move the mount down. I've got it down. I don't know what the distance is here, maybe three inches. I don't have any holes here to put the bolts in. I could... Uh, drill them out. I think that's uh, that's going to be what I need. So one of the other things I can do to get this up a little bit further is if I move this uh, this U-bolt to the bottom uh, set of holes, I can get this up just a little bit more, but I can only go up as far as as this here. So I'm you know maybe I get that'll get me another inch. I think that'll work. I'd sure like to have these. Uh, uh, bolted in there, but uh, I'll maybe drill some holes.